Hello and welcome to an incredibly special episode of Jurassic Park Builder, Jurassic Battle, or just Battle, it might be Jurassic Battle, it depends if they make more. Uh, I'm going to go through stages 1 to 50 of this tournament, so I'm not going to waste any more time, we're going to get straight into it. Now this is being recorded when all of the DNA tournaments have been released, that means we've got Nozutoceratops, Giganotosaurus, Shunosaurus, Ragosaurus, um, Sukumimus, I think that's it actually. Uh, oh, Tapijara as well. There you go. So we're going to go through levels 1 to 50. So it's going to be a long episode. But it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. A lot of people have requested it. And I have not been paying battle as much attention uh, as tournament. Uh, for the reason why I only do this to get close. So the first battle, you can literally do with anything. Uh, Triceratops weakness is charge. If you want to find all the weaknesses, look down in the description below. Uh, but we'll go for a tail slap. Look at that. 38 damage. Doesn't even stand a chance. Um, so even if you got max of Triceratops, you can do this. Uh, I won't get the original awards because they've. Uh, once you get the third medal, that is it. So on to stage two, where we shall use Dilophosaurus. I love this guy. Love him. Don't get him to use a. Don't use her enough as I as I want to really. Um, so I think his weakness is bite. No, it's not, but still, look at that, 27 damage, and takes it out. Not a problem at all, dear. <laughs> I mean, if you really want, you can mute my voice, I don't mind. But if you want some mildly entertaining commentary, I'll be your host. So, Velociraptor again, Velociraptor. Um, doesn't even matter, you can go for whatever you want. Tail slap it. I don't care. Actually... Uh, tail slaps seem to have been its weakness. Um, this is good because I've been wanting to grind for a claws for a long time. And since I've got all the creatures, hell, why not? Let's do this. So we can literally just do, you could do all these with bronzes. Um, at the moment, it's overkill. Carcharodontosaurus against a Triceratops and a Dilophosaurus. Not, not, not um, a fair matchup. Boosh. 198. I think that's probably the weakest it can do. We don't need a block, we don't need to waste any of that. Oh, 24 damage! Oh god! You see that? It just sort of, it did like a football, it just sort of... Jumped! Oh no, 56 is the weakest it could do, but it still won! Uh, as you can see, I've got 9 million grass and 7 million food. So, there, I, I, do, I honestly don't need to spend anything in Jurassic. I don't need- oh, the only thing I use Jurassic for is uh, getting getting coins and claws! So again, another unfair battle. We'll go for a charge. It's a fair! 367, that must have been its weakness then, charge. I don't know the lower level creatures' as weaknesses z -z -z -z, because I don't really uh, attack them. I don't fight them in the tournament, so I, I can't say that I, I know any of their weaknesses. Come on, we can do this. Uh, I'm wondering how far I can get. I mean, if I was to use one creature for every battle, I could get up to probably 30, but I think at one point it's going to get hard. T-Rex can usually take a team on by himself. So it might take a few recording sessions, but we'll do it. So I think it's charge for Triceratops. Yeah, it's charge. Baryonyx can do up to at least level 11. Oh, sorry, level 18, I think. So, th there's no problem here. Like, you could use the dinosaurs I've just used for ages. Like, you could keep going. But since I don't want to buy them back, I'm just gonna have to use them one by one by one. And do this uh, once a day. And hopefully we can get it up to you as quick and as fastly as possible. So, bite it, 66 damage, it's weakest attack. But still, still getting through there. So you can tell when you've got maxed up creatures, because these are all the creatures maxed up. Um, you can tell that, uh, yeah, maxing up bronzes is a good thing if you want claws. You definitely need them. You don't want to waste time maxing up, uh, sorry, using max golds for claw farming. It's not worth it. The max amount of claws I think you can get, don't hold me to this, is 25, and that's with the final mission. Level 50, you get 25 claws, um, and it's not worth it. Because you could get 120 bucks in a tournament for using, like, the, the, the golds. And here you're getting 25 claws. 
Nada worth it. So this is Pachycephalosaurus and Ceratosaurus first time. Come on, butthead. Ah! Look at it. I, I like seeing their colors before they went completely mental. And this is great because I, I get to... Oh my god, it survived! It actually survived. Oh! Come on, what are you playing at? Come on, butthead. Do it! Hiya! Yeah! And it wins! Whee! Didn't do too badly. Don't think we got a gold there, but honestly, if you get a bronze or a gold at this point, it makes no difference. So Baryonyx now appearing in, and Kylosaur could do this with its hands behind its back, if it even had hands. <laughs> Just had feet. Four feet! Well, I, I guess it wouldn't have. It would have had hands, but they just sort of... Well, the hands are feet. If you look at your hand, and then look at your foot, you can see exactly where, like, things have been stretched on your hands and, like, shortened. Like, your fingers were shortened, your, your palm was broadened. It's evolving! That's why everything that's on the land originally had five fingers. Or at least uh, mammal-wise. I, I don't know if insects had five fingers. I don't think they started out like that. Ugh. But we all, we all started the same. We all started from a, this sim single creature and then divided off, evolved, and what have you. So, onto Brachostachosaurus. People tell me to play this on blue stacks. I can understand why, because you get a full screen. Um, but uh, blue stacks is so glitchy and I don't know I don't trust it um, and yeah th that's basically the reason that I just don't trust it at all when I was when I was a kid and I would go on the internet and whatnot I would never trust anything that wasn't officially licensed and I'm still like that I, I, I honestly don't think you should do you should commit to anything that's at all like that. Um, come on! Oh, yep, Byronix is out. And Brachus Stachosaurus! God, just got all the claws. So tell me, uh, what, what stage are you at? I'm curious. Oh, this, these are what I like to call boss stages. It's where, all of a sudden, instead of there being loads, they put up one that's got uh, probably the same ferocity as what you've been fighting. And I think that happens every ten stages. I could be wrong, but this, this boss battle is usually when you'd, you'd flew through all the other fights, and then you get to this one. And it takes ages for you to, like, get past it, because you need to level up your dinosaurs. And they've done that deliberately, so you can't keep going and going. Um... So that's boss fight level one. And then we're back to bronzes again. Parasaurolophus, um, it's a shame because I hate its colors. I wanted its colors to be what it looked like in The Lost World, where it was sort of brown with a nice creamy light brown, uh, like peachy, looked really nice. These guys' weaknesses are all charge. Um, they also switch- these two, I know their pattern exactly. If you do over half damage to them, they will switch. And they'll just keep switching if you do over half damage to them. Um, until one of them needs to attack when the other one's fainted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, this- yeah, this is really good because I don't- I don't get to use these creatures at all in the tournament. Um, Twelve. And the thing is- you, I don't know. Oh wow, we've got two evolution here. These creatures are the first ones to be evolved. We've got secondary colors, secondary markings even. And it's against a Spinosaur? Well, he's gonna rip them to shreds. Oh wow, Car Caridonosaurus looks nice like that. Look at that. Looks really good. Shame it's dead. So out comes the compy. Um... So far, they don't use blocks or specials. I'm pretty sure, um, because it's been so long since I've done, or at least went through the tournament. Oh, it's not his weakness. My bad. Uh, but usually you get a little uh, message saying, Oh, be careful, the bots are going to now start blocking things. 
So if that wasn't very good, uh, it must be Tail Swipes' is weakness. And so it is! Oh, Spinosaur gets Brachiosaur. Who will win? I think the, uh, especially if Spinosaur was this big compared to a Brachiosaur, I'd imagine a Spinosaur would win. Oosh! Wasn't the strongest, sort of medium level, but Spinosaur takes the victory. And in this video, everybody's a winner, whether you're Team Spino, Team Raptor, Team Rex, Team Triceratops, Team God knows whatever. Um, so, he, ooh, we got a Spinosaur now. First one we've ever seen evolved second. It's in its second evolution, actually. So we never, you never fight a Spinosaur in its first evolution. At least, actually, oh no, you might actually, this might be its first evolution. I can't remember, it's been so long. This is definitely his secondary colors. Bite it! 890. Not even its max damage. Now, yeah, I think Spinosaurus is weak to charge. Allosaur against a Spinosaur, separated by millions of years. Who will win? Allosaur. Allosaur wins. Brachiosaur again, um... I can't remember what his weak- Oh no, his weakness is bite, that's right, because he's the same as Shunosaurus. Little foot! Yum! Wow, that did a cr- a crud ton of damage! Beautiful, give me my claws! And uh, once I've done this, I'm also wanting to, uh, sort of do, uh, like a full list, a full stat list of max health, max of damage, max special damage, and stuff like that. So, uh, because I've got them all, why not put that up for you? A nice little helpful list to uh, let you know who's good and who's not good. 907, I, st I still haven't found his weakness. I'm pretty sure it's bite, actually. Gallimimus looking nice in some some decent color there. Uh, and am I to tail swipe? Yep, that's his weakness. And in comes secondary color, Baryonyx. <laughs> I like- I call this guy Gormless, because look at that jaw, it's horrendous, I hate the model for that. And max damage against a Baryonyx. Gormless, look at my jaw! It just- it just- it looks uh, uh, pff, horrendous! I don't like it, I do not like the way they've made that model at all. Uh, on to 15. Ooh. So, Taurosaur now, again we're still beating them on um... On ferocity. If you've got one dinosaur that's sort of all of their colors. Sorry, if you've got one dinosaur that's their team's total, if not even higher, ferocity, you're gonna win. Oh, it survived! Gallimimus, oh, but it switched. Uh, I'm pretty sure Spinosaur is charged. Oh, we're starting to get challenging battles now. Oh, oh, Spinosaur couldn't survive that. Gallimimus is a lot stronger. Uh, Pachycephalosaurus goes for the bite. I'm pretty sure it's charged. I mean, they headbutt each other. Come on, butthead! Out it goes! Gallimimus, the lone survivor! He's the only creature, I think, uh, to have survived a, a hit, like a good hit so far. But he is out now. Taurosaur takes it! Oh god, you see that? You see that there? Ooh, that's, um... That's some not so good skin waiting there. Um, it could be actually due to the way they've separated the model. So onto 16, it could be it's tempting to go to 30, but we'll go to 16. And we have an Allosaur, wow. And a Pterodon. Pterodon originally was a gold. Um, that's why he was in the previous boss fight. But they just when they decided to take the tournament seriously and uh, stuff like that, they decided to demote it down to a silver. So there is still a lot of debate as to people like, no, it's, it was a gold, and everyone's like, no, it's always a silver. But trust me, it, at one point, it was a gold. Ooh, Alasaur with its leopard markings. Goes for a swipe, that's actually my weakness. Ooh. Okay, I think bite is his weakness. Is it? I could be wrong. I am very wrong, it is charge. <laughs> If, if you do an attack that's the least damaging, like he did a charge against me, you move one to the left, bec but because there is no left, you go here. So swipe is its weakness. So I did bite, it wasn't very weak, so the one to the left of it is its weakness, which is charge. That's how you work it out. Um, 
And also, a lot of creatures, if they've got the similar animation set, they will have the same weakness. Uh, some of them don't. There are exceptions to that rule. Um, and so far, we haven't needed yet to use a single um, special or blog. I'm quite impressed. Who are we now? We're at 17! Oh my god, we're almost halfway! And 412 ferocity. Oh, wow, okay. They're actually beating us on ferocity now. <gasps> oh my god! This is Pterodactylus. This is a, a very shameful reskin of Pterodon. But it's actually better. Now, Trudon has a lot of attack for a silver. Um, so I'm pretty sure he could take these all out in one hit. Trudon is even almost like worthy of doing in the tournament, but since it's incredibly hard when you've got all the creatures, for me, I can't, but Trudon is definitely, definitely an up and comer. So 986 took it out. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, we've used them all so far. Jeez, we haven't skipped one. They're all single battles right now, so these are 419. 491, actually. And Gallimimus, one of my favorite dinosaurs. Um, if you are curious, my favorite dinosaur is Parasaurolophus. I love Parasaurolophus. Don't know why. I think it was ever since uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Uh, you could just make a whole herd of them. Uh, I love them. This is, this is Chewbacca Lizard right here. I think his weakness is charge. No, it's swipe. Oh god, he knows my weakness though! And we're against Kamarasaurus! Kodak moments! Boom, get out of here! Oh, what? Oh, oh, it switched, it switched. Now, Kamarasaurus' weakness is bite because it's the same as Amargasaur and Brontosaur. Oh, but it stays in! Oh, things are getting up now! Oh! Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're switching every time they get half health taken off. Interesting. Um, well, I mean, that's alright for me. Compi comes in. I think Compi can be taken out just normally. Go for a bite. That's medium. We shall go for a charge! Oh, no! That's its weakest. Its weakness is tail swipe. <gasps> no! But again, they just, they don't know my weakness. I, I think if we got to level 50, they would do my weakness all at a time. And Kamarasa, <laughs> he comes in with a face like, yeah! Oh, yeah! So we bite him. Yum! And Gallimimus wins! <laughs> so I hit the mic there. Oh, I'm hitting the mic! <laughs> uh, level 19. Oh look, we've got Triceratops able to be used again. Um, so we, we've got now our Pterodactylus. And we are approaching, look at that, we are almost less than half ferocity now. Um, so we might have to get to the stage where we have to use two creatures. I'm hoping to do a flawless run, basically. That's what I am hoping for, dear. So bite the Kamara, so this one's evolved. Oh, but it didn't help! Look at that! Severely outmatched on ferocity, but does it matter? Because if you've got one creature that's basically got all of the other team's ferocity, it can take them out. Ferocity is rubbish. They are merely just guidelines, dear. Look at that. This little butterfly. Fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Oh god, he is frail though. You are frail, aren't you? Um, I think it's charge tracker Acanthosaurus or Gormless. Oh no, he survives! He survives! Goes for a bite. Okay, so it looks like bite was his weakness then. Bite was the weakness! Again, I, I never- I don't have a list. I don't look at a list for um, weaknesses because right now, it's if I, if I hit them once, I can tell what their weakness is because if it's- if it's their- if it's not good against them, it's the one to the left. If it's medium, it's the one to the right, basically. Um, and if I've luckily just managed to get it, well, that's a bonus too. So, actually, we cannot use Kamarasaur for this one. We can't use Kodak Moment. We can't use uh, Chewbacca Lizard. 
Luna? Somebody wanted to call it Luna. There, it's Luna. We can't use flamethrower. Uh, actually, I think we could. Yeah, I think we could. Because Stegosaur's weakness is charge. I know that 100%. Yeah, I, I, do, I don't look at a, we a weakness list. I know them off by heart. It's that sad. <laughs> it's that depressing. So we go for a charge. Yeah, yeah. We're okay. And in there... <gasps> look at this! We finally get it! Your opponents have grown more aggressive. They can now perform special attacks. So we're gonna block here. Uh, if, if anything, that was the computer going, I'm about to use a special... Uh, what's amazing about these tournaments is you can skip them doing their specials, which is crazy. So there we go. Just one more hit and we've won. Unless they go for a blog. Uh, they go for a bite, which is our weakness. And look at that. A glass cannon is Sukumimus. Glass cannon meaning it does a lot of damage, but it doesn't have much health. In other words, it breaks very easily. We ought to fight. Ten claws. And I only used five. So that was the boss fight for that one. Uh, so we hopefully can go back to uh, to using... Yeah, we can. We can go back to using stuff. What were we using? Um, I think Kamara Resource got this in the back. Kodak Moments got this. So hopefully we can get it to level 25 with just one, one straight set. So even though this is a gold, I am stronger. I, I think so. I don't know! The only one I gotta worry about is Alisor because he'll have a lot of attack. And I mean a lot. Charge? Well, you can go for that if you like. It's not me weakness, mate. <laughs> Bite it! Wow, this is getting tricky now. Uh, they can use specials. It sort of warned me. And there it is. We can skip that if we don't want to watch it. Yeah, it looks like I'm actually going to have to use a special and a block. Oh my. If we were against Brontosaurus, we would have been good. But this is a one, a second, a second of, t it's been evolved twice, basically. Let's go for a block, a special. Uh, we can't skip our own specials. Oh, we can at a certain stage. Oh, I killed it. I killed it in one. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. And we got 10 claws back. So I don't know if we can use Chewbacca Lizard anymore. Um, well, we can. We can use Chewbacca Lizard. But we're going to have to team it up with Iguanodon here. Just, I I am stingy. I'm here to make claws and make a video. So I don't, I don't want to use my claws. Bite it. Oh, wow. I did a what? I mean, I guess I was fighting a gold before, but I wasn't expecting it to do that much. God, Chewbacca Lizard could have done it by himself? Or by herself, sorry. By the- <gasps> who, who- Like, I wanna know, Ludia. Who- Who on your team decided to make Carithosaurus make that sound effect? Because it is- It is just- Chewbacca. How could you do that? How, like, that is one of the most- well-known um, flipping calls in film history. Why give it to Carithosaurus? Now, I think in the battles, he actually got a lightning. Now, I don't believe in tournament lightning even makes any sense. But uh, I'll, I'll tell you if I see any lightning on them. Nope, no lightning. Whereas just before he got a strike, he got a stroke of lightning on him. So, uh, oh, it's charged, isn't it? Nope, not in yet. Anyway, I don't need a block because uh, I've got Luna waking, waiting in the. Uh... Oh God, Chewbacca could have done it by itself. Oh wow, that's news to me. So again, leave a comment, tell me where are you stuck at or where are you at right now. Because uh, if you're watching this video, you might just be watching see, let's see if you could do it. Or you might be watching it to see uh, if, if you need any help and what you need to do to get it. And maybe I'll give you some help, helpful hints and tricks. A good thing is you always go first. Uh, and bite his weakness, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, just survives. 
and goes for a switch, which is brilliant. Hopefully you'll switch too. Yum. Are you gonna switch? If you get hit over half health, do you switch? Is it, does it, oh, there it is, there's lightning. But, no, no special. So lightning is rubbish. Sometimes they get a bit of lightning on them, but that's just effect. Um, which is nice because uh, for for the longest time, Poet Plays has been saying, "How how did I how did he do a special? He had no lightning on him." I don't know who told him that. It's rubbish. Lightning doesn't mean anything. Just telling you here, I'm not having a go at Poet. I'm just saying, um, you you guys might be under the influence that that actually means something if they get a stroke of lightning on them. And it doesn't. It doesn't. You saw it right there. He got a little bit of lightning on him and no special. Um, I'm just trying to help you out, dear. I'm looking out for you. You're my little sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Come on. Come on. What are we on? What are we on? What stage? We've gone so far. So far, we are on 23! Oh wow, we're almost halfway! And next one is Tabby Jara! Good old Tabby Toes! Now we're getting into the creatures that you can use in the tournaments. Or at least are usable if you like have them backed up with something. So swipe is his weakness. You can probably kill him in one hit actually. Oh no! Tabby Jara is huge actually. Uh, so now they are switching out, so I think his weakness is a swipe again. Oh, Gallimimus hangs in! But if they get hit over, like, half health, and that lightning struck on that Gallimimus there, and nothing, nothing happened. So, PCs can be dumb sometimes, um, because he, he should be switching, but they have an algorithm, they have a code that they follow. It'll be like, if under 50% health, use switch or something. Use command switch. It'll be something like that. So here's his charge. Alisor doesn't have great health, which means he's gonna be taken out. Um, oh, poor little Calamimus. Come on, Tabijara. Just do. I love this animation. This is one of the new animations that they put in when they updated how you play the tournaments and battle. <laughs> Because otherwise, it was just, he went over there, did a little bite, um, then he jumped over there, did a big bite, and I can't remember what Tail Slap was, um, but it was definitely not that. So this is it, the halfway mark. Whee! Todgy, little Todgy. You can do it, buddy. I want him to sort of curl up into a spike ball and run and charge towards them. <gasps> How dare you go for it? Look at this, be careful, your opponents have evolved again. Now they can block your attacks. How dare they? So 25 is the point when they can now uh, block. As long as we hit over half health, we can kill them in two hits. And judging from Kamarasaurus, or Kodak moment, uh, yeah. We, we can definitely, uh, we can definitely kill all of these in two hits, if they don't block. Come on, Taji! Oh yeah, you can do that, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna sit here and whack you with me tail! Whichable! Chewbacca! You should be in the Star Wars! Oh no, they actually went for my weakness there. No! Taji, no! Whatcha? Uh, Pterodactylus is in its... Second? Is it in its... I think it's in its first evolution still. It's just a really good, uh... Reptile. Ooh! Ooh! Do you wanna go? Do you wanna go? Fine, bring it! Come on, Taji, show them what a special's made of! Whatcha? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Whew, come on, keep doing it. So that was 25 over the milestone. Now on to 26. Uh, 919, wow, okay. 
Um, this is risky. Because then Montosaurus doesn't have um, great attack. I don't I don't even like class this as a good dinosaur, um, no matter what happens. Swipe it! Oh you little butt. Yep. Queen! Why why watch their animation when I'm gonna block it? Swipe! Oh he just survives! No! Oh, but he goes for a switch. Why? Because they're idiots! Charge it! Oh, so bite was its weakness. My bite. Oh god, another switch. Okay then. That's fine. As long as I take on Trudon, because he had probably the uh, the best attack on that whole team. So we go for a bite. It's gonna leave it with a tiny bit of hell. And then Torosaur. Torosaur might be a tricky one. But I couldn't imagine it. I like how he looks like a Bengal tiger. Obviously not as deadly. Because it's dead. Torosaur in its third evolution. Sorry, second evolution. It's It's got its little markings on and now it's changed color. Charge it. Oh no, it's out? Oh, wow. Sorry, I didn't expect it to go out that quickly. Jeez. Alright then. Oh, to 27. Oh my god, are we going to get it to 30? If we do this all in one go, that would be amazing. Uh, Albertosaurus. Now, Albertosaurus is better than Yut and better than Carnotaur. And better than Ragisaur. But that's only an attack. Health-wise, not so much. But attack, that's all you really care about in this game. So charge it. Oh god, look at that. That was only a medium hit and over half health. Oh, Luna goes for the headbutt. A fully evolved creature, finally. Or at least close to fully evolved. It's got its markings. So we'll go for another charge. Because it's going to kill it anyway. Corythosaurus. Oh, it goes for a swipe. It goes for my, my weakness. How dare you. I'm going to go for yours. Boosh. Yep, did not stand a single chance. Oh. Nope, charging my weakness, buddy. Kodak moments? Die! And there you go! Albertosaur takes the lead! Beautiful, beautiful. Again, you can see we're not getting many claws, we're getting like 11. Which isn't much for what we're doing. Uh, so it is Yut's turn! Come on, Feathered Beauty, you can do it. So we go for a bite. Which isn't gonna kill it. I think the only one we might kill in one hit is Iguanodon. Because this one's not fully leveled up. It's it's one off its final final coloring, so. Here it comes. Yeah, it looks nice, but not fully evolved. See that time it did get a lightning strike on it, but. Again, I think that's pure coincidence. Um, charge was it? Was it charge? I think it was. I think it was bite. Yeah, bite is weakness. Ah, oh, it doesn't take it out. Damn! I thought it would. Come on. On to Kamarosaurus. Come on. Let's do this. Why be my weakness, buddy? <gasps> a block? How dare you? I know that he can't kill me with a, uh, a special now. Still couldn't kill me, even if he did a special. So I'm I'm not worried at all here. Because if I do over half health and even kill it in one, nothing to worry about. See, we're getting 15 claws now. Um, and using a gold that could be used to win bucks? Nah, not worth it. Oh wow, Albertosaur, Taurosaur, Oranosaurus. So we're gonna use Ragisaur this time, come on! 
This was the last DNA rescue for the Jurassic that you got. Um, I mean, it's not too disappointing, but I think for the last one, we expected it to be something good. They should have switched it with um, Gigabyte. If Gigabyte was the last one that you obtained, it would have been awesome. Oh, sorry. Sorry, buddy. Your weakness is... Um... Oh, we got a lightning and a special. How much is it going to do? <gasps> too much. Too much is the question or the answer. Um, so if that wasn't good, then it'll be swiped. Yeah! Around a sword coming out. Swipe ain't my weakness, buddy, but bite's yours. I'm sure after this I'm going to know all their weaknesses. <gasps> a block? How dare you. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, in a bit of trouble here? Uh, has to be said. Oh, no! Come on, he's not going to go for a special. Oh, he goes for a switch, which is perfect. I'll use a special. If you run out of claws when you're using, um, when you're using your specials or blocks, it goes into books without you even knowing. It doesn't even say, oh, we're going to use books now. So you might accidentally click it and spend a hundred or maybe hundreds of books on just a single block, which is a complete waste of time. And, uh, again, I have always subscribed to the fact that this game just wants to cheat you out of books completely because they want to make money off you they want they want what's in your wallet um so that they, they do that oh t-rex the first time we've seen a t-rex and a carnator oh wow okay um who shall we use i'm thinking if we use a carnator it's possible it could take them all out it's also possible that it might need some backup so if we use carnator and Shinosaurus. You know what? Let's just use Carnotaur. I think a special from a Carnotaur might be enough. Oh god, it's never good. It's never good when you see a T-Rex on the playing field. Oh no, it's even worse when you don't do over half health. But it is, uh... Oh, it's good when he doesn't go for your weakness. Now, a charge, sorry, a special is going to kill him in one hit. So rather risk losing health, is it going to hit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, this Carnotaur looks better than mine. I prefer that one. Can I not, can I not devolve my, my Carnotaur? I'd love to devolve it. So it was charge. Because we've got bull horns. Come on. Come on. Now, if we go for a special, is it going to be enough? You know what? Let's test it. I'm curious. I think these guys might be nerfed. I know in the tournament they're nerfed. Oh! Oh, he just survives. Just. Let's do the weakest attack. Nyam! Killed by a butterfly. And we get our claws back, basically. Now we're going to start to have to use our claws. All the ones that we got so far are now going to have to be used. Um. Nah. It's not good enough. Um. Pachyrhinosaurus won't have a problem with this. That's for sure. Shouldn't Littlefoot, I'm not too confident with. Charge, charge, uh, charge. Oh no, charge, charge, bite for these guys. Oh, took it out in one! My goodness! Go on, Stegosaur, what you got? Not much. I love that sound effect when you skip it. It's like, Bing! it's like a sonar. Charge it! Uh, that's not over half. So it means that we're probably gonna have to do two more hits on him and then Allosaur possibly one? If Taurosaur got taken out with one hit, surely Allosaur's the same. Okay, let's test it. Bite him? Bite her? Oh, sorry, it's charge. Oh, no. Oh, well, never mind. 
<laughs> Why do they switch sometimes? I don't, I don't understand the programming behind them. Swipe ain't my weakness, buddy. What you doing? So, so far, I've used... It's only taken one creature to win, so far. Um, I have used two once before, but I didn't even use that creature. So, charge it? That should kill it. Yeah. Didn't think it was going to stand a chance. Can we get 15 claws? Oh, I never, I never realized I would rattle through these so easily. Um, now we got a T-Rex here. We got something big. Um, so I'm gonna go for these two. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use two. I could use just Gigabyte. I could use just T-Rex, but that's overkill. I think two of these Littlefoot and Brontosaurus can take these guys on. If anything, it's just getting more turns. I mean, you look at that. This guy does 1,900 damage. And it's almost on par with Pachyranosaurus. He does 2,700 damage. And has a crap ton of health. So I don't understand why Littlefoot's so high up. I don't think it even has that much health. I think it's just because it's a... Um, it's a rare DNA. It's like a rescue DNA. Also, they put spikes on it. They like putting spikes on everything. Like, all the DNA creatures, Gigabyte, uh, Shunosaurus, a lot of them have spikes on them. No real reason behind it. Right, we got the big threat out of the way. We should be okay now. Ready for the sonar beam? Boom! Come on, little foot, you can do this. Oh, wow, that did a lot. So far, we haven't fought a fully leveled up Oranosaurus. Just this type. Like, second evolution. Or third evolution, sorry. Oh, you want to block? You want to use your force field shield? Well, that's okay. Sam's I'm still going to win. Bite it. I'm wondering how far I can get. With using all maxed up creatures in the battle tournament, I don't think I'll be able to do it. Swipe it! No, you've got a you've got a club for a tail! Why did you use your head? Like they could have switched the animation up for that, surely. They could have. Oh my god, he's done it. She's done it. That's impressive. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that mouth goes so wide. Oh, wow. Look at that goofy face. Yeah. Gosh. Who are you? That's my terrible goofy impression. Uh, <laughs> moving swiftly on. Um, Amargosaur's got this. Yeah, single Amargosaur. I think Nozuto Ceratops, Stegosaur, T Rex, Gigabyte, they can all have a match themselves. Uh, the same- oh, look at that! That's a nice turquoise! Oh! Already with the force field shield! Oh, you see, he glowed. He did have electric. Now, now I'm curious. I've seen them with the glow. I've seen them without the glow do their specials. I'm, I'm completely confused now. I have no idea. All I know is that in the tournament, they don't get the glow. The electric charge, sorry. Right, they've used a special. They've used a block. They shouldn't be using one of those again anytime soon. And that's it. Albertosaur is in. Uh, Albertosaur, the, I think the one with the most attack here. So I've got to be wary. If we go for a swipe. Again, a, most carnivores are a bit of a glass cannon. Thank God! Oh, this is getting... Amargosaur isn't the best for where it's at. Again, it's a bit like Shunosaurus. It's it's not as great as it could, as it should be, really. Um, I mean, look at that. That did nothing, though. In comparison, this this little Iguanodon isn't even leveled up. Um, is it charge? No, it's bite! Aw, oh, bless it. 
I could have killed it with a bite. One single attack would have killed it. And there we go, Amargosaur wins! I think my first limited dinosaur I got uh, was a Amargosaur and I got it on offer. And I leveled it up straight away and it made so many coins. It was, it was an awesome dinosaur to have really early on in the game when I saved up my bucks. Oh God, look at all the ones we've used. Um, I'm gonna save my big hitters, which is Gigabyte, Dryosaur, and T-Rex. They're my real big hitters. So we can at least get a single, um, a single round with each of these. There we go. I was clicking that for ages and it just wasn't going. <sighs> so bites Iguanodon's weakness. It should kill it in one hit. Yep. Pachyrhinosaurus should take two hits and same with Albertosaur. We just fought this team, but in like, it's a different order? That doesn't make sense. Did they seriously just, like, level them up a little bit? They must have. Oh, there it is. I love that they've uh, added a pause button and the fact you can skip, like, some of the creature's animation. That's awesome. They, they should have done that ages ago. Pike of Rhinosaurus giving me a run for me money there. What do you think you're playing at, Leek? I'll deck you in. Mm, Alberta saw something I've got to worry about. Swipe it. Okay, if he goes for a special here, we could be out. And he- Oh no, we wouldn't have been. We wouldn't have been. We were in the safe. Look at that. Look at all my claws. Beautiful. We win. Another 15 claws. Again, we're winning 15 claws here. If you do, like, level stage 11, you get, a, like, 9 claws. It's, it's not worth it. The creatures you have to use. Oh, Uteranosaurus in for the first time. Uh, let's have no Zuto. So we probably get up to 38. And then I should be able to finish it tomorrow. Like the, the next day when they've all recharged, actually. I was expecting to do at least three or four. Oh, Edmonosaur and Iguanodon share the same animation. But Iguanodon's weakness is bite, Edmonosaurus's is swipe. So there you go, it doesn't really matter about the animation sometimes. So swipe should kill it. Yut. Right. You're either- I think you're bite actually. I think Yut's bite, Carnotaur's charge. Again, more dinosaurs with the same animation, but with different weaknesses. So close to being fabulous, but hasn't evolved that much yet. Swipe for you, and again, using the weakness chart in the description below is a really good way of, like, securing you're doing the best you can. Like, that alone is gonna win you more tournaments than anything I can tell you. I mean, look, I would have killed him if I knew his weakness there. Just for an example, I did know his weakness, but if I didn't and I did that, see, he gets another go. But if you know his weakness, he's out. So, uh, Nozutoceratops there, making this look incredibly easy. Come on, Nosy, swipe it. I don't need food. Give me bucks. Can I not trade my 9 million grass for 1,000 bucks? I'd love to do that. Please. Please. Allow some trading. Uh, so... I'll use Gigabyte for this. The long-awaited one. This was the best DNA rescue that you got. Um, I think no Zootoceratops and Tapujara were supposed to be DNA rescues, but they just didn't have... They, they probably ran out of space, actually. Like, they wanted to cycle it every, every like, three or four weeks. And, uh, it's... Oh, God, no! T-Rex with a special? Oh, dear Lord! Okay, um... I'm gonna have to hit back with my special. Come on! 
Oh, it didn't kill it! It did not kill it! Okay, T-Rex is the only one I need to be worried about. That wasn't my weakness, but it would have done a fair chunk of damage. So if we get T-Rex out, there we go. Now I don't need to worry. Like, we've got a Ranosaur, which isn't even fully evolved, and a Quanaton, which isn't even fully evolved either. I think I can kill these both in one hit. Oh, no, just little brave lizard. Uh, a Quanaton? I think you're out. Yep, Iguanodon didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Up to Aranosaurus. Oh, bless it. Let's use a charge. And Gigabyte takes the victory. Oh, now we're getting 17 claws. Ooh. Seven. Uh, look at that, we've got a Triceratops and Dilophosaur back. Uh, this one, I shall use Dryosaur. And then 38 will be T-Rex. And then we've got 11 left. To probably reuse our golds and silvers. I will try to use the silvers as well. I don't want to just stay at the top now. Oh, a fully leveled Pachyrhinosaurus. It's like being in the tournament again. Except it's not fully leveled. Because it should take three hits and not two. Oh... Oh, it looks like in a tournament when they get that lightning. 80% of the time they do use their specials actually. In the tournament I can guarantee you that's rubbish. But in battle, yeah. Looks like that's how you do it. So, Iguanodon's bite, Iguanosaur's swipe. This is a fully leveled Iguanosaur as well, or at least fully evolved. Ah, look at that. Gets up. Stay down, would you? Come on. For a little dryer saw. Ooh, blocking, are we? Hmm. Swipe it. And just Torosaur left. Fully leveled Torosaur, I might add. Um, yeah, I don't think a special would kill us. So we charge it. Charge might kill it. It might just leave it with a tiny bit of health. No, it kills it. Oh, Dryosaur takes it. You want me? You want me? I want me. Yum. <gasps> Almost 2,600 claws. That was a close one. And now you're going to see the dramatic difference of having a T-Rex on your team. Oh, no. <laughs> fully leveled one at that, actually. Just watch this. T-Rex can win everything hands down by itself. Because it is just so overpowered. And unfortunately, in the tournament, uh, that makes it incredibly unbalanced. Oh, almost took out a rival T-Rex in one hit. Now, I'm going to block here because, uh, yeah, that. Um, so, I'm not even going to let him do his animation. You suck! Oh, okay then. That's okay. You can go for a charge. That's fine. And then we're probably going to kill a fully leveled Oranosaur and a fully leveled Pterodactylus in one hit. Because so far, I think the max amount of damage you've seen is about 3,000, maybe 2,900. You want to know his? His max damage? 3,888. Yep. <laughs> Almost 800, maybe 900 more. Than any of the other creatures. That's that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Which means you can do this. <laughs> and kill everything. Everything doesn't stand a chance against T-Rex. Oh, look at that. Another 17. And join me in a second. When I'll be right back. And we can play the rest of it. Just let me go to sleep baby. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. No, oh, well, there you go. That's how you sleep for 24 hours. Ah, right. Troll. I think we were on level 39. I could be wrong. I don't remember facing... I, I remember facing a T-Rex. Okay? If I miss one, don't kill me. But it, I might be right. <laughs> so we'll just carry on into the dawn. So we got everybody back. Except for, I think, T-Rex. Because T-Rex takes a little bit longer. than, Or he might take exactly 24 hours. Uh, so, 
Now, I can afford to use some some silvers here. Um, I'm wondering if that that would be enough, actually. Uh, you know, I think that would be enough. I think we can use some silvers and some golds. I don't know if I'm going to complete it all in this session because um, the last level will have T-Rex, Dryasaur, and Stegosaur. So that's going to be quite a crazy. Bite him? Or is it charge? Nope. Nope, it was Bite. There you go. Now, Pterodactylus and Trudon, I think I've said before, but they're good, actually. They're quite good. I've put my Oranosaurus out here for a meat shield. Uh, the only one I'm really worried about is that Stegosaur. He has the whole team's ferocity, basically. All right, that's one down. One down. Two to go. Let's do this. Let's do this. So it goes for a swipe again. Oh, it's Stegosaur out right now. Okay. Oh, going for the block, because they can. They went for a block and a special. And you just, you know what, Stegosaur, keep doing it. Please, keep doing that move. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Yeah, keep doing that swipe. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Keep doing that. Come on. We can slowly wear this big brute down. And then... And then, no! Oh, oh, okay. Just please go for another swipe, please. God. The only hard thing with these battles is getting, like, gold. That's the only tricky bit. Yeah, I mean, you can complete them pretty easy. I'm showing you here. Oranosaur's basically taken two of them out. And they switch. Oh, dear. Time for a swipe. Yeah, have some of them apples. How would you like that, you backer? Oh, and he switches again. Poor Stegosaur doesn't know what's going to hit him. Actually, Oranosaurus probably could have done it by himself. Yeah, I think he could have. Very, very easily. Because Pterodactylus has a crap ton of attack. Badoosh! And there you go. That's how you do level 39. Uh, oh, 17 claws. Getting better. Right, uh, now onto 40. <gasps> Only two, but they are good. Tell you what, let's have him and him. And... Uh, Albertosaur to clean house. I think we're good with that. Um, it's possible that they won't know our weakness, which means they won't go for it and will survive. Um, Ferocity-wise, I'm incredibly outmatched, uh, but I go first all the time. So we go for a slap. I just want Allosaur and Acrocanthosaurus just to quickly do some damage. Or, you know, get taken out. That's that's a, that's a good one, too. Ha! <laughs> nice one, Dry. So good joke. Good joke. No, no, seriously, just take my hit, would you? Oh! And a block. Maybe Gormless isn't going to do too hot. Oh, he survives. He survives. Beautiful, beautiful. That's more damage than what would have normally hit, I guess. Ah, there's the- okay. Okay, now we're, now we're in a pickle. They've used a block, they've used a special, so we shouldn't expect another one for a while? I, I wouldn't have thought so. Yeah! T-Rex? Gotta be worried about that T-Rex. Uh, I'll probably go for another special, and another block, and then another regular. So we've only used 20 claws right now. That's not too bad. Okay, we're gonna have to go for another special. So that's 20 claws. That's 30 claws. I remember when this first started and there was no 5 claws. It went straight from 10 claws to 20 claws to 40 claws to 80 claws to 160 claws. But thank god they put the 5 because now it's, it's a lot easier. 
Ah! Oh, yeah! Another 17 claws! Keep on getting them back. Even though we did lose some more. But I'm here to do this. So 41. Oh, okay. No, not many big hitters here. We've got a Margasaur, which can take a few hits. Uh, Albertosaur, which is probably the biggest threat. And then an Acrocanthosaurus for, for the hell of it, I guess. Um, I think we should use some low levels. So Tijangasaurus could probably take out a Margasaur. Then we'll have Iguanodon, and we'll have Sukumimus. We'll use some of the lower levels. I think it's probably overkill. Uh, Sukumimus might not even be used here. It all depends. I mean, I, I, you could probably win it with just two, but I'm trying to not use my claws. Um, two reasons. Uh, because you, you guys might not have the access to the amount of claws that I have, or, uh, you know, that I have right now. Uh, not saying that you wouldn't, and two, because I'm stingy. <laughs> I don't want to use any claws. So actually, um, no. This Amargasaur is actually really good. Um, I was worried about Albertosaur, but that's because Albertosaur's got a lot of attack. Okay, going for my weakness every time, buddy. Come on, Drama Queen. You can't be doing this. Ah, oh, there it is. That's a huge force field shield. That was crazy. And a wasted special. You could have taken me out with just a regular hit, but I'm okay with that. Out comes Luna. Come on. Go for a bite. Yeah, I'm expecting Sukumimus to clean up here. Again, love the colorings. I love the colorings on Iguanodon. Beautiful. Ah, even better. Not going for my weakness. Perfect. Ugh. Look at it! Oh, oh, that, oh, that hit! Oh, it's just so much! And then it can just jump! Now, Alberta saw. Ooh, tricky. Tricky. I'm gonna guess bite. It could be charge, though. Yep, it's charge. Never mind! You know, waste a turn! I don't care. Actually, it could be swipe. If 800 did that much. Yeah, it, it might be swipe. Swipe is now weakness. Is it Albertosaur's weakness? Because I did 800 damage. Yeah, I thought so. You can usually tell. If you know what the max hit is for the, the creature, then depending on what you hit with, it'll be either a light, a medium, or a heavy, and you'll know from there. You can just work out which way. You, if, it's, if this was a light, that's the heavy. If this was a light, that's the heavy. It's always the one to the left is the heavy of the light, and the one to the right is the heavy of the of the medium. If that makes sense at all, I'm probably just confusing you. Come on. Oh, he's going for the fight. Oh, finally went for my weakness. Out brings little flamethrower here. Gonna go for the, uh, the swipe of the tail slap. Take him out, Acrocanthosaurus. Good old Gormless. Look how big its bottom jaw is. God. Ah! 1,800 for a special. Not bad. Um, you know what? Fine, let's just, just go for our special. <laughs> Missed the camera by a mile. Whee! <laughs> I love that. It's like he, he chest bumps the camera. Uh, we get 70 claws again. Making more. Making more. We're getting there. God, am I going to do it in all this one recording? I remember by the end, it's basically like T-Rex, T-Rex, T-Rex. Um, if I can use silvers, I will. Because we've only got, like, these ones. And I want to sort of finish it off uh, with just this recording. So, 1,800. Pachymyrinosaurus is the one I'm worrying about here, actually. Uh, we've, we've got our own yut. Now, I could use these three. But that would be overkill. So... What I'm gonna go for? How how much difference is that? That's not much difference. Okay, go for those, and then I want something good to sweep. There we go. You see, once you get a creature that sort of has, it makes up the entire other team's ferocity. You've won, basically. I'm just wanting Carithosaurus and Kodak moment. Sorry. 
Chewbacca and Kodak moment to just be in here, uh, absorb the special and the block that they do, and just take some hits. Because, like, again, see, the chances are they're just gonna go for anything. Uh, maybe at level 50, they'll know our weakness straight away. And I think as the levels go on, so the stages go on, they do know your weakness, but you get lucky sometimes with them hitting a light. Um, and I'm just wanting to do some damage, wear them down, because I don't want to use golds. Golds are very... I mean, I don't want to spend bucks on them, and they take ages to come back, so... I mean, look at this! Kuritasaur could have been out in two hits! And then, Pachyranosaurus is almost out! Again, it's, it's all down to the weakness. If you know what that weakness is, then... You're rest assured of victory. And there you go, a special sort of wasted. But again, they could have went for a light, so it might not have been wasted. Ah! Kodak moment takes out the Pachyranosaurus, and in comes... There, yut! With that Todgy waiting in there. Oh, hold on, it's bite, isn't it? It's bite, because... Carnotaur's charge. There you go. Not too bad for a sauropod, is it? Or a camera. Sauropod camera? I think I should do a drawing of it just being uh, like a, a sauropod, like Camarasaurus, but then having a camera at the top. Oh, yes! Look at this. A lonely silver taking on a gold. Not only that, but a gold you have to buy with bucks. Yeah. Oh, holy mackerel, mister! You're strong! And little Todgy. Uh... Oh, it does take it out. And you're actually... Wow, I'm, I'm overestimating the enemy. They're really bad. Really bad, look at this. Not a single special or a block used. I could've... I could've... I, I should've just put in another silver. And not wasted. Yut. Uh, nope, no special, no special coming. Just gonna kill you with my feathery fury. Beautiful, beautiful. Another 17 claws. Again, the claws don't change. I think the coins do and the little meat you get change every time. But claws, no, they can be stingy with claws. So on to level 43. Oh, interesting. Wow, look at these. None of them leveled up to their max. Um, I am very, very tempted to put in that. Very tempted. But just in case, I'm going to put a Montasaur in. There you go. This should be okay. That's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's okay. Now, um, I am going to make a review video of this game because... There is a lot to talk about. In general. It could be said this game is a rip-off of Farmville. And it is. It is a rip-off of Farmville. But with dinosaurs. And that's what it was. And then it changed to, uh, like, Pokemon fight styles. Uh, with weaknesses, resistances. Um, it has to be said, Pokemon wasn't the first game to ever do that. But this rock-paper-scissors fight... Um, has been done to death. There's no, they didn't do anything um, different with the game. They just thought, right, we'll give them a reason to get the dinosaurs other than money, because once you've got all the dinosaurs, money isn't an issue. You have a surplus of money. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I like the game. I do, don't get me wrong. I, I love this game. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be playing it. But... There is a lot that I just want to sort of get off my chest with the game. Uh, bad, good and bad, basically. Um, oh! Go, is that, was that a light? I think it was a medium, actually. So, okay, Monosaur against a Brontosaur and another Monosaur. Uh, are we going to go? Oh, no, that's a swipe, yeah. That's my weakness. Ooh, okay. Um... Oh, never mind. That did quite a bit, actually. We could go for a special and finish him off in one hit. I like how we're all the same color. Green! Swipe is my weakness, but seeing how much damage, or how much, how little damage that did, we ain't got anything to worry about. I'm gonna go for a special, just to uh, survive a hit. Yeah! 
Boom! Taken out and onto their Admonosaurus, which isn't fully evolved. Oh, he goes for a special too! Not enough. He could do another special and still be alive. So let's go for a Swip. Ooh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go for a, a safe block here. Um, oh, never mind. They went for a Plum and Bite. <laughs> so let's go for another Swip. Oh, and it took it out. Never mind. Okay. I, I thought that that did less than half, but uh, never mind. 2,400 claws. Pretty, pretty damn good. Dude, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, I want to use some bronzes. But I don't think we have... Like, all the silvers are basically used now. Um, how much attack does Spinosaur have? Not enough is the answer. Uh, whew, I've got all of these, but I want to save them. So, we might as well use you... Oh, I almost clicked start. <laughs> Fight! Finish him. Uh, and Rajasaur. Now, this is an overkill team. Um, Rajasaur is probably going to finish them off. Gallimimus may be like a paper plane against a hurricane. Um, oh, this is this is a evolved Admonosaur. Mm, by not too much. I think it's basic. We fought like a level 29, and this is a level 30, I would imagine, from the difference in attack. I don't like how Gamma Mimus looks so sad. I hate it. Why do they make him look so sad? He's got a dippy tail and everything. Ah, oh, Gamma Mimus can survive that. Gamma Mimus! Swipe it. Oh, he actually took one out. That's awesome. Pagoranosaurus, I'd be- I'm quite worried about. Um, never mind, you could just do that. Take my kicks! Ugh! Force field shields aren't gonna get you anywhere, mate! Just a bite. Oh, okay, that was a medium, but still. Tappy jar, tappy toes! Tappy jar is pretty good. Um, in tournament? Not really. But in this, yeah, pretty good. Swipe. Oh, we could take another one of those. I don't think we could take a special, though. Yeah, this is easy. We've, we've easy done this one. Again, leave a comment telling me which stage you're at or which stage you're stuck at. Uh, I'm expecting a few of you to be, like, level 50. Oh, I'm waiting for them to do something different. Because at the end of the level, they've left a little bit of road where it looks like you could expand to and a bit of cloud there. So... They've just- Oh, we just survive! Oh, beautiful! And that's where they've sort of suggested, Ooh, we might expand, but probably won't. I'd love that to be a aquatic battle. Oh, really? A special for that? Oh, God. You know what? You know why? Because they're running on a code. They don't think for themselves. They just go, right, at, th at turn three, if this has happened, do this. So, I think is gonna take him out with a charge. Yep, yep, Rajasaur could have had that all himself, actually. I think a special would have taken everything out. No, the 17 claws. Oh, I'd love to, them to make some sort of trading option. Like, say, you had to sell 90 million coins for a thousand bucks. I'd do it because I get coins so quickly. So onto 45, it was hidden by the cloud there. And as you can see, they're sort of hinting, ooh, it might go somewhere else, but it probably won't. Stegosaur, Aranosaur, and Dryosaur. Okay, not a fully evolved Dryosaur. Um, yeah, I'd imagine those two would do it. Oh, no! Oh, it's gonna be close. I think T-Rex, T-Rex can do one. Stegosaur can do one. No Zootoceratops can do one. So, I think, I, I mean, I hope. And then I could do all this one recording session. Otherwise, I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd rather just do it all, like, really quick for you guys. There'll probably be a time code at the bottom so you can find whatever sort of fight at whatever time. So you can quickly skip through if you'd like to find whichever one you're stuck on. Uh, I know a lot of you are probably just going to skip all the way to 50. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I wonder what the battle is at the end. 
And what he uses, because I bet, I bet a lot of people are curious like that. And Littlefoot's doing really good here. So this is, this is going to be a video. I wanted to do level 1 to 50, all dinosaurs, including DNA rescue dinosaurs. Because I think there is a video out there that is 1 to 50. But it's back when there was just special and fight. Like, option. There was no... There was none of this headbutt, tail slap, charge thing. Uh, it was... It was back when the tournament was new. It was like a baby. It was a little baba tournament. Little baba. So, now that... The, like, so much has happened since then. And I just sort of wanted to make an update version of that. And I, I've never done, like, a run through like this for you guys. I've never, never done that. I, I was like you. I was oh, imag imagining what you would be doing, which is just when you get a new dinosaur, then doing the next battle and just working through, like, having the battle there as you're making your park. Because I played this when it was just a, uh, a park builder thing. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew that wasn't going to be a good one. But I thought, ooh, let's try it. So it must be interesting, like, making a park, having the battle option, having the tournament option. And, uh, you see there, he did get lightning on him. So I did do the block. But when I was first doing this, they got lightning on them anyway and didn't do a, a special, so... I don't know. I think if you see them do the lightning, it's probably best just to use a block in case. What's the worst that's gonna happen? You're not- you're gonna block a normal attack? Well, <laughs> that's good! Um, so if it- if charge was normal, then it must be bite. Yeah! Oh yeah! 2450! Oh, that is a lovely picture! <laughs> he looks completely gormless. Uh, four, oh, wow, four left. One, two, three, four, oh, five, sorry, five left. Oh. Triceratops! No, no, we'll not use Triceratops. Uh. I'm wondering. Because there's, if that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five. That would be it. Um, now, oh, I don't know. I want to, like, finish it, but we'll have these two, and then we'll have Gigabyte, because I think Gigabyte could do it by himself. I honestly do. I think he could take out all of them in two hits. And I, I don't want to use a gold. So, Paris Roll is my favorite dinosaur. Are you gonna be any good here, dear? Beautiful! Beautiful! Almost a thousand damage! Couldn't have asked for anything more from it. Uh, oh, and survives a hit! A bronze at this level? That's awesome! Keep going, beautiful! My tangerine! Oh, I think you're gonna be out here. Yeah, I saw, I saw the lightning. I wasn't gonna block. Because what's the point? It's gonna be out in another hit anyway. So, in comes Spinosaurus. I can do quite a bit of damage, actually. Oh, unless they block. Interesting. Goes for a swipe. Is my weakness? Spinosaur lives to fight another turn. Oh, yeah. See, you can even use bronzes at this stage. That's pretty awesome. I would never have imagined doing that. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> out comes Gigabyte, which is going to take him out in one hit. 3,000! Boom! Get out of here! So, charge isn't my weakness. Bite is. Bite's Gigabyte's weakness. Uh, but bite is Drama Queen's Amargosaur's weakness! Oh, yeah! Two hit kill! Now, I'm just looking out for that lightning. Just in case. It keeps going for the wrong one! It's like the computer knows that that's not my weakness. And it just keeps on going for it. One down. Yeah, I think Gigabyte could have done this by himself. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta use the bronzes. You gotta, you gotta switch it up. Keep going for charge. God. What are you doing, Todgy? 
Oh, I could have taken it out with a single special, but again, I'm stingy. And I don't like that. No lightning that time. See? No lightning. So I feel like it is just coincidence. But it doesn't do enough. And poor Taji's gonna bite the dust. Uh, if bites... Sorry, if charge is, the, is what's good, bite's gonna be the weakest, and swipe's gonna be alright. So let's use swipe. Oh! Alrighty then. Block? I guess they didn't do a block at all, did they? Swipe! Boom! Out of there! 20 claws now! Wow, okay. But again, like, just if you did le stage 11 twice, you've got 18 claws, and you can use that with bronzes, so on to stage 47. Oh, with a T-Rex. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's not cool. Um... We'll use these two. Ooh, I think for the last one, I'm gonna do like just a T-Rex. Just a T-Rex, and he's gonna eat all of my claws. So we'll do a swipe. Use your head, you idiot. Use your tail. Damn it, Brontosaurus. I know you don't even exist, but come on. Uh, charge again. That's great, because that allows us another turn. And, oh, he's gonna kill it in three hits. Nice. Oh, there's the special. Yeah, saw that coming, but I'm saving my blocks for Pachyrannosaurus. That dinosaur is way, way, way more precious to me than Brontosaur. I love Pachyrannosaurus. Absolutely love it. Oh, no! Ah, oh, shucks. Just survives. Well... At least I'm still getting hit with charges instead of bites. Ooh, it's complete. Wow, I, I'm gonna go from this, go back into, t into the tournament and just lose because it's so weird fighting them. Look, he's not even doing the weaknesses. In the tournaments, they do it every time. So they haven't went for a block yet. So I'm a bit wary. T-Rex, if he gets a chance, is gonna do a lot of damage. So here, I'm gonna do my blocks. Um, you know, let's risk it. I could take T-Rex out with a special. A bite's not gonna finish him, so might as well go for the risky special. Yeah, there we go. Out of there. Brontosaur, ain't got anything to worry about. Goes for a special, I don't mind. Uh, goes for my weakness, I don't mind either. Because Pachyrhinosaurus is just the best. I love it. Back when uh, it was before the DNA rescues, before... Um, T-Rex got overpowered because originally Stegosaur was the strongest, or at least uh, it was had the most ferocity. And then they bumped T-Rex, they completely uh, buffed him, buffed him the heck out and nerfed uh, Stegosaur, I think, a little bit. And there we go, but Pachyrhinosaurus stayed true and was good. Even though it doesn't have as much ferocity as Amargosaur, it's better in health, it's better in attack. So ferocity don't make sense sometimes, so under 48! Ooh, oh, okay. Nothing too strong this time. Interesting. I could go for a... Actually. Ooh, I don't know. If we go for those two. And I go for a... The Dryosaur. And then for 49, we could go for a Margosaur Stegosaur. And then for 50, no Zootoceratops and T-Rex. Do you think? I think. I think dry is a really good sweeper. Probably take all of these out in two hits, so. That's my, that's my, my, uh, me using my little noggin. Uh, charge. Oh, block straight off the bat. Oh, yes, just survives. Thank you, Brachiosaur, for giving me an extra turn and wasting their blood. Beautiful. It's all- every little helps. And I'm not advertising Tesco's. Uh, uh, Compi does have more attack, but less health, so... If we can get one hit in with Compi, I'll be happy. Yeah, look at that! A thousand! A whole thousand! Um... Come on, please survive. Please survive. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Beautiful! Look at that! Two bronzes taking on a Carnotaur. 
I will say I've seen Carnotaur way more than I've seen um, Uteranosaurus. Now, I could have blocked that, but I didn't. I just wanted to save for uh, Dryosaur. Now, Dryosaur has to take on a Stegosaur. I think you can take Stegosaur on with a special and a normal. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. You can... Well, actually, let's have a check. Let's have a check. Because a special does however much a heavy does, plus a half. Yeah, yeah. Special's going to kill it. Okay, you can do... Oh, my God! This is really, really easy. I was expecting them at this point, at level 48, to at least be doing my weakness every time. But no. No, look at this, not once. We can, I think we can take this out with two bites. Oh, maybe not. But the way this fight's going doesn't even matter. No, it really doesn't, wow. Jeez! Bite it! Ah, there it is! There's the force field shield! And there's my weakness! Wow, okay. You're cutting it a bit close there, aren't you, mate? You're pulling out the big guns now! Oh! Oh, a tiny bit of health! Are you gonna kill me? Are you gonna go for a special? Come on, try it! I dare you! No, no, that's fine. I thought you could give me a challenge, but, uh... I guess not. Boop! Drysaw wins on to level 49, I think. Oh, look at all these claws. This is awesome. I'm, I'm loving it, just forgetting the claws. I don't really care about food at this stage. So 49, the semi-finals. And there it is, a yurt. A yurt, a Drysaw, and a T-Rex. Okay. Um, now, it's probably best just to put something in. Rather than having an empty space. So, I'm going to put a Magasaur. And then, yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay, this is... This is nail-biting stuff now. Can we do it? Can we do it is the question. Uh, bite for Yud. 741. You know, it, for bronzes, this isn't bad. If you think 741 damage... Oh, never mind. Yeah, Ankylosaur's definitely dead. Yeah, I think he only has 800 health or something. So, go for a bite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, goes to my weakness straight away. Oh, are you by chance, computer, giving me a challenge? Mm -hmm. Well, you're not. Okay, now you are. Screw it, block from the T-Rex. Oh, wow. Okay, that would have done a crud ton of damage. Go for a bite. Safe option, safe. Gotta play it safe. I've got Stegosaur in the ranks. Actually, you know what? Let's fodder off a Margasaur. Yeah, he's gonna get killed by two hits. But, if we can get another hit in, I think Stegosaur could take it out with a special. A spatial. Oh, I think Stegosaur could probably take it out with one hit, actually. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Oh, what? What are you doing? Why'd you do that? You fool! You absolute numpty! What do you think you're playing at? Oh, my god, that was beautiful. Just... Oh! Oh, almost survived that as well! Are, are, are you letting me win? I, I feel like you are. Oh, there's a special. Ah, I didn't have time to block. I moved it. I'm not using a mouse, so um, I'm using my trackpad. My mouse is plugged in. I to be honest, I couldn't be bothered to get my mouse. You don't need a mouse for this game. That's how you know it's not a game. Because <laughs> you don't need a mouse. Um, yeah, any game that you can use without a mouse isn't really a game. Like, I, even, like Dino Hunter Deadly Shores, I couldn't use that without a mouse. So it's definitely, it like, it, it goes into sort of gaming territory. But this, no, this is Farmville with point and click adventure added to it. And I say point, oh, that, oh, no. I was thinking maybe a special could have killed him. But unless they go for a force field shield, they're not going to win. 
Yes. 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 Another 20 claws. 2,500. Oh, I never thought I'd see the day when I had that many claws. And on to the final. The one you guys have been waiting for so, so patiently. Triceratops! Actually, can Triceratops win? If I win level 50 with a Triceratops, I will be very, very pleased. But I think T-Rex is just so overkill that, that I'm not even going to get to use Triceratops. So this originally was the best team. Dryosaur, Stegosaur, and Tyrannosaurus. Now it's uh, T-Rex, Stegosaur, and Nozutoceratops. Personally, I think this is a great team that the computer's using because uh, Dryosaur has a lot of attack. A lot of attack. Nozutoceratops is a good uh, punching bag, but I think in this game, Attack counts more for health, more for, than health, really. Um, you could have, like, take Glacier, for example. You could have Indricotherium, Elasmotherium, and Little Brute against, like, Marsupial Lion, Titanoboa, Titanoboa, and... so I had to correct myself again. And, uh, like, another good hitter, like Amphicoon. And still, you'd win with the Titanoboa team. You'd win, but it's because when you do a special, it does an extra half of damage. And health? Nah. You don't get any extra bonuses for having health, except for, you've got lots of health. Good for you. Oh, come on. I want I want Triceratops to win this. Take out my Nozuto. Come on. Take out Nozy. Oh, just like just. Uh, oh, no. Come on, T-Rex, don't hug the glory. Let Triceratops win. People have been watching this for ages. No! Wait, what's... Okay, if that's... It must be swipes all right. Yeah, swipes okay. Um... Oh, there it is! Come on! We can just wear down Stegosaur to a point that Triceratops can come in. So... I can't afford to go for a heavy because chances are he's gonna keep on going for light or something along that line. I can't I can't risk it. Okay. Actually I can risk it now. Charge! Look at all that damage! How crazy is that? If he goes for a bite. Oh ooh. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Is a bite gonna do... Is it gonna do too much, a bite, you think? Do you think a bite's gonna do too much? I hope... If I got my fingers crossed, please leave him with a little bit of help. Yes! Yes, finish me, Stegosaur. Come on! No! No! Oh, okay, fine. You're gonna have to make me waste a turn. Come on, Triceratops. Lock? This... This is... Front page news! Triceratops wins! Level 50! Tournament battle! Oh no! No! Oh no! No, it wasn't enough! Triceratops! Hang in there, buddy! Keep that force field shield up! Use another special! Come on, buddy! You can do it! Yes! There it is! Triceratops wins! Level 50. And that, my friends, wraps up the video! Ah, so good. I never thought I'd see Triceratops win. That, that's amazing. Oh, and there it is! All levels done. I might have missed one here at some point. I don't remember. I fell asleep. Come on, guys. Cut me a break. And if you've liked this video, leave a like. And until next time, hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you later. Bye bye